Hello my dear learners welcome back to Karim's biology this is class 9 in biology and we have been discussing the lesson cell its structure and functions in this session we are going to learn about a technique to observe the nucleus under the microscope okay guys let's enter into the topic subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update so our today's session is about an activity to observe the nucleus under microscope so what is the aim the aim of the experiment that we are going to conduct is to observe the cheek cells along with their nucleus okay so in this technique we are going to observe the nucleus from our own body cells which are collected from the inner part of the cheek right and what are the requirements without the requirements we cannot further proceed with the experiment a toothpick or ice cream spoon or spatula is required a small toothpick is required and of course a glass slide is required needle a small needle and a brush is required blotting papers are required filter papers or blotting papers are required and methylene blue solution is required because we have to stain the cells okay and then normal saline is required distilled water is required and glycerin is required because glycerin when you place glycerin on the cells it prevents the drying of the specimen right so that's why we used glycerin and uh, and last but not least we require a compound microscope to magnify the cells to be absorbed very clearly okay so that's about the requirements now let us enter into the procedure you know that whenever you conduct an experiment we have to follow the steps in an orderly manner okay then only you will get the desired result now in this experiment also we are going to follow the steps and the first step in the experiment is we have to wash our mouth thoroughly by rinsing with some amount of water because we are going to collect the scraping of the inner lining of our cheek so that's why we have to rinse the mouth with your with uh, some amount of water now we have to take a toothpick and slowly the toothpick should be kept within the mouth and slowly inner side of the cheek must be scraped so that the cells present in the inner side will get transferred to the tip of the toothpick now the toothpick should be placed in the drop of water on the slide okay so this is the first step after collecting the scraping from the cheek we have to place the scrapings on the slide containing very small quantity of normal saline and uh, next thing we should do is we have to spread it right in first step we have placed the cells on the drops after that we have to uniformly uh, spread the cells on the water drop because if you don't do that all the cells will be in the form of a clump and when you observe that under microscope you cannot see anything that's why when you take a needle and when you spread the cells uniformly the all that clumps will get separated and when you observe under microscope cells can be clearly seen okay students that is the second step and the next step in the procedure is we have to put a drop of methylene blue and wait for a couple of minutes students you have to know the fact that the cheek cells that we have collected with the help of the toothpick now and placed on the slide those cells actually are transparent when they are transparent when you observe those cells under microscope they may not be clearly visible especially the part that you want to observe the membrane of the cell or the cytoplasm and also nucleus they may not be clearly seen under microscope as the cells may be transparent so in order to observe the cells clearly you have to stain the cells remember children when you look at a glass which is transparent hardly you can notice that there is a glass but when the glass is painted with a paint then you can clearly see that there is some object there right in the same way the cells when they are transparent cannot be clearly seen but when you apply some color to the cells in the form of stains then the cells can be clearly seen because the cell surface is going to take some amount of color and even the inner part of the cells including the nucleus may also take that stain and they will be colored right so that's the reason why after spreading the cells uniformly on the slide the next step is we have to take some methylene blue solution which is a stain and add that methylene blue solution to the specimen right so this is the next step afterwards what we have to do wipe the extra stain with a fine cloth or a blotting paper you know children as we have added the stain sometimes we might have added so much amount of stain and as already we have added some amount of water again we have added a few drops of stain then the quantity of the liquid over here in the specimen may become more so that's why we have to remove the excessive 
stain solution from this place and for that we need to apply a blotting paper right so this is how we can apply blotting paper at the margins of the slide so that excessive stain and excessive water will be removed from the specimen okay students now observation in observation we should place the specimen under microscope and absorb but before that we have to do one more thing that is we have to add a little amount of glycerin to the specimen because when you directly see the specimen under microscope there is a possibility that within a few minutes the liquid part will get evaporated and the specimen becomes dry when the specimen becomes dry you cannot see anything right so that's the reason why we have to add a little bit a little amount of glycerin to that and after adding glycerin we have to slowly place a cover slip on the specimen because when you focus the specimen under microscope the tip of the objective lens should not touch the specimen that's why what do we do generally we place a thin cover slip over the specimen before we absorb that under microscope so this is how we can place a specimen and then we have to slowly keep it under microscope and then we have to absorb so when you are observing what do you notice so this is what you notice when you absorb that cells under microscope okay so you can find cheek cells which are irregular they are irregular shaped they are not in a specific shape because they don't have cell wall they are irregular and uh, they have a darkly stained body at the middle of each and every cell okay can you see over here if i enlarge this cell this is how the single cell appears you can see the margins of the cells are irregular because it doesn't have any cell wall and the inner portion the jelly like substance within the cell is the cytoplasm and what do you notice here you can notice a darkly stained body which is bigger in size this is called nucleus nucleus is very important part of a cell because nucleus controls all the other activities occurring in the cell okay children this is how we can observe the cheek cells along with the nucleus under microscope but children there is one more important thing that you have to keep in mind while conducting this experiment what is that precautions you have to take certain precautions because if you don't take precautions the entire experiment will be spoiled because of a small mistake that you commit in the process of doing the experiment that's why it is required for us to know the precautions that you have to take while conducting this experiment so let us now discuss the precautions the first precaution that you have to take is do not scrap the cheek too hard as it may injure you i told you that with the help of a toothpick you have to collect the scraping from the inner side of your cheek when you do that you should not do it very hard too hard because there is a possibility that you may get injury because the inner coating of the cheek it is actually covered with epithelium in order to collect that epithelium slightly you can scrap that is enough but if you scrap too hard as it is delicate part the toothpick may enter into the cheek and may cause injury that is the first precaution that you have to take and the second precaution that you have to take is the scrapped material should be spread uniformly on the slide and the next precaution is excessive stain should be drained off i told you that if if there is excessive stain that must be immediately removed because if there is excessive stain while you are observing the specimen under the microscope the excessive stain may spill and it may fall on the stage of the microscope which is going to spoil the microscope that's why we have to remove the excessive stain and the other precaution is there should be no air bubbles under the cover slip okay children under the cover slip there should be no air bubbles because i told you that we will place a cover slip when you place cover slip if there are air bubbles that may disturb because the air bubbles may appear as cells and it may be hard for us to differentiate which is air bubble and which is a cell that's why while placing the cover slip you have to make sure that no air bubbles will be formed during this process okay students so this is the procedure to absorb the cheek cell along with its nucleus under microscope i hope that you understood in my next session i will explain about the structure and function of nucleus and classification of cells basing on the presence and absence of nucleus Okay students I will meet you in my next session